what the hell have I got myself into? So here we are actually out on the road. Um, this is the traditional first stop for me. I don't need to stop here right now, I can keep on going, but I wanted to grab one of these things, put it in my pocket. So I was looking at the first strike stuff and I was reading the nutrition facts and stuff. When I did a little bit of looking into it, the first strike rations, they're, uh, they're meant to be taken on the go. I think they call them assault rations. So these are basically glorified versions of energy snacks. And I'm going to be honest, they kind of scared me just a little bit. So essentially I'm going to be handling the first strike meal in the same way that I would handle um, energy snacks when I'm on the ride. Now because of the diabetes, the rules are that I have to stop or I have to have some, a, a snack item or a food item every hour. We're gonna stretch that today. I'm kind of laying down a lot because uh, I, was some, I was afraid that something was gonna happen and it did. Um, it is October in Wisconsin and the DNR has taken away the water fountains, uh, bubblers, whatever you wanna call them in Wisconsin. So what that means is that basically this is a completely self-sufficient ride. I just hope that when I get to uh, where I'm going, which is um, Harrington Beach State Park, I believe it is, I hope that when I get there, I can get some, I get some water fills. So I pocketed the first thing that I'm gonna be snacking on a little bit down the road. When I get there, I'll turn the camera back on. Meanwhile, um, I'm racing sunset, so uh, let's roll. So about two hours in right now, and just stopped for a first blood test, and the sugars look good. I really don't need a snack, but a uh, little, little hungry, just a touch. So we're gonna do one right now. Ta -da! So the first thing we're gonna take a take a crack at is the uh, Zapple sauce. Now originally I thought this stuff had caffeine in it, and it doesn't. Now it's enhanced with maltodextrin. So I'm expecting something really sweet out of this. Okay, so no spoon or nothing. We're doing this on the roll. Is it even open? Whoa, okay. Whew. It's, a, it's a touch on the sweet side. A touch. Good thing I checked my blood sugar before trying to snack out. And now I had to cross a major road here, so... Uh... Turning left about right. Okay. Where was I? Oh yeah. The sugar bomb, extremely sweet. Um, apple and cinnamon, definitely. Um, very much a cinnamon kick. A little watery. Somehow I'm okay with that though. A massive sour hit if you uh, put a lot of it in your mouth. But in small doses, it's all right. It's got this little block. Very sweet in small doses, but somehow, I don't know, maybe it's the additive, but that doesn't make sense. But uh, for a first taster, not bad. Mental note, climb in the correct gear. So we're now four hours in. And uh, my GPS is uh, sending me in a strange direction. So the, uh, the Zappa sauce was okay. Give me some mild heartburn, but I'll live with it. So, uh, okay, wait, no, I, no, wait, now I see what's going on. Let me turn on camera two. Okay. This is why it was messing me up. Trail just picks up over here, okay. All makes sense now. I've not been doing much of the snackage here, because uh, I'm trying to keep it as low as possible. Normally, like I said before, I do one an hour. I don't have that much in the, uh, in the first strike ration. Pretty much two hours since the last one. We're going to this. Nut raisin mix with pan-coated chocolate discs. I hate to say this is the one I've been the most curious about. Because I'm trying to figure out what nut raisin mix with pan-coated chocolate discs is generic for. Let's find out. Easy coat, easy pair. Oh, 
Oh, hey, here we go. It's generic M&M's. Yeah, that's uh, it's an M&M, &M, all right. And beyond that, let's see if I can show you guys this without tilting the camera far too far. Sorry for the crotch cam. There we go. It's Gorp. Basically, it's Gorp. Good old raisins and peanuts. Put that banana stone in. Ready? Okay. Well, this is too much to have all at once, I think. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pocket it. I'm going to pocket it for now. And uh, I'm just going to snack on this as we roll. Rest assured, though, this is all getting eaten. That's the good stuff right there. Absolutely beautiful. I believe I inadvertently timed things perfectly. Uh, coming inside would be good, actually. It's cold out here. So let's see here. We got camps. We made camp. And um, still haven't done all the things I need to do. But priorities. And one of those priorities is now getting cozy. So now we open this thing up. Let's see what's in here. I know the one thing I want in here. Let's see here. Uh, John Wayne toilet paper. A couple of moist towelettes. The gum, always the gum. Got some salt. Beverage based cranberry grape. Oh, I thought this was something else, but uh, okay, that's cool. But here's what I came after. I'll show you why. So, check that out. A lot of my camping friends are gonna give me uh, give me grief because that's not camping. You're supposed to, you know, use two sticks or something. We're camping not surviving. These matches are designed especially for damp climates, but will not, but they will not light when wet or after long exposure to very damp air. We're good. Okay, so um, because it was dark outside and I couldn't see the camera, um, I accidentally did not film a lot of the start of that. Oops. So, um, yeah, I got here, set up, got all that done before sunset. Sun has set, obviously. And, uh, finally sitting down to some, like, dinner-ish food. This is the, um, let me get the actual name for this. Sandwich Shelf Stable Pepperoni in Bread. And this qualifies under Truth in Advertising, let me tell you. About the size of maybe a smallish hot pocket. About the same width too. But what they did, let's see if we can get the light on this, there we go. They took an entire pepperoni stick, a big wide pepperoni stick, and baked it inside of this type of a flatbread. It's a little dry, but I expected that. Not bad. Extremely spicy pepperoni, but I, again, kind of expected that. It's kind of got the consistency of like a Slim Jim. As far as the, um, it's very, very rough, very tough. But overall, not bad. Um, again, something you're supposed to kind of eat on the go. Uh, with no heater unit. I don't think a heater unit would actually help us at all. I think it's perfectly fine the way it is. Now, something I did, I did prepare, um, while the camera was not working. This, this is the, uh, the chocolate protein drink powder. Let's see if I can get that on camera. Very good enough. Mm. I was right to let that sit for a few moments. It has the consistency of a milkshake. And it's very much, um, it very much tastes like an off-the-shelf protein mix. It's one of those things of, 
after doing the after doing the trail riding all day, this is kind of one of those. Yeah, I, this is good. I like this. This is nice. Now the final thing I'm prepared to eat right now is this: the uh, apple turnover shelf stable. Um, I have a feeling with this one, I'm gonna need some backup. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, it's uh, not what I thought it was. This is absolutely not what I thought it was going to be. Um, I thought this was going to be, like, opened. It's not. Um, of course, desiccant pack, because there's always a desiccant pack. Okay, um, do not need the spoon. Alright, what you got? Hmm. Immediately I'm hit with cinnamon, for some reason. This is a lot better than the sandwich was. The same, the bread's still dry. I'm okay with that, though. Um, I'm okay with the, but the filling, it doesn't have the same commercial taste that I was expecting that uh, I've had with others. It's definitely not homemade, I'll tell you that, but it's still pretty good. Honestly, after a long day riding, this is, this is good. Um, of course, I'm saying this knowing full well that tomorrow I have to repeat this. You guys are leaning up against the trunk bag right now. And there's a lot of food in here. There's, um, I honestly don't know if I've been, if I do what I've been doing, I'm gonna have extras at the end, which isn't bad. But, um, it means that, uh, you know, there's not, not entirely doing what I'm supposed to be doing. But, I mean, there's a, there's a bunch of stuff in here that I don't want to attack until, um, well, You'll see tomorrow. You'll see tomorrow. That's the best way to put that. I've got, um, got a nice fire going. Got my tent set up. Moon's out. It's, uh, it's, it's really peaceful out here and I like it. Nobody's bugging me on Twitter tonight. It's nice.